Hello, and welcome back to Let Supreme Ghost Thief. We're playing Mystic Gems Part 1 today, and uh, this was, um, or the sequel to this, Mystic Gems 2, was Harm's Choice. He was the winner of the Thief Ambiance competition, the second one. So, uh, since I'd played both of them before, I decided just to do them both. So, we're going to go to... You notice that the difficulty is not normal hard expert it's easy normal hard so then we have to play on the highest difficulty which is hard so let me read the background info before we start this one this mission is from 2006 and it's by will or willy uh, a finnish author i believe w-i-l-l-e so i'm gonna call him willy uh, i think he has made three missions for thief and i have actually played all three of them um, but it's been quite a long time, probably 14, 15 years since he's made any missions. So I, I think he's out of the game in terms of um, fan mission creation. So the info file says, I got a very intriguing offer last night. I need to acquire two gemstones I'm very familiar with, Mystic Soul and Mystic Heart. It's been a while since I plundered them out of Bone Horde, and since then they have been changing owners over and over again. My client informed me that Mystic Soul is currently in Lord Jillian's possession, who has an old mansion in Eastport. Getting the Mystic Soul should be routine, but as for the heart, well that is on display at the Bonn Baronial Museum. I was told that the inner city of Bonn is closed off from general public. I guess the nobility there wants to keep streets clear from us disreputable people. Luckily, my client has thought of this too. There's a big shipment of high-class food supplies leaving to an inn in Bonn. This shipment should provide an easy way into Bonn's inner city. Once I'm done with the mansion, I should find my way into Gilbert & Son Shipping Company warehouse and board the right shipment there. I must be careful not to alert or harm any of the warehouse guards, or the plan will surely fail. Getting both stones will be tricky, but for the amount I'm getting paid, I'm willing to take some serious risks. So here are the proper objectives. Best way to enter Jillian's mansion is through the sewers. The map you have been provided shows the right way in. Find the Mystic Soul and steal it. Every good opportunity to make some hard cash should always be used. Get at least 2,000. Enter the shipment leaving to Bonn in Gilbert and Sons Warehouse once you are done with all other objectives. You are a thief, not a murderer. Do not kill anyone. Hitching a ride in the shipment will surely fail if you alert or harm any of the warehouse personnel. So a few of these were overlapping some of the info. Um, before we start, I am using a new microphone today. So please let me know how that sounds or if it sounds any different from my usual one. Uh, not because my old one is broken, but it's getting old and some of the wires are loose. So I didn't want to be at a point where I didn't have one. Um, so I'm noticing that this one is a little bit more sensitive in picking up my voice. So I turn down the gain a little bit, but it's also a little bit better, it sounds like, at blocking off um, background noise. So yeah, just give me some a quick feedback on how it sounds. If you can't tell the difference, then it's good. So hopefully that's the case. Alright, let's see here. We obviously don't need to buy anything, and there isn't really anything interesting. We have a rope arrow. We're only going to need one. Uh, it's beneficial to have two to start the mission, but um, one is all we need, I know. Let's go ahead and make a save to begin with. And look at the map. So, the maps in these missions are pretty cool. Um, there are only two maps in this one, but the style of it, I like. And in Mystic Gems 2, the map there is even better. So we start in a Hammerite warehouse. And uh, we will head into the sewers, which this is a map of. There's a gate control room that will open up the gates leading to Gilbert and Son's warehouse, where we'll end the mission. In the meantime, we're going to head to Jillian's mansion, where we will then find and steal the Mystic Soul. So that's our, our primary goal, but then heading on to Bonn, as it said, where we're going to pick up the Mystic Heart in mission two. And this is then just an overview layout of Jillian's mansion. There's no details of the interior here, which is okay, because it's a fairly small map, this. And uh, we have a courtyard, we have a front door. Uh, we're going to come up from the basement, though, and there are two floors uh, besides the basement. So, 
If, um, if you guys like Thief 2 Victorian style missions, uh, this is an excellent one. It is not very big. This is, I think, his first mission. So it's on the smaller side, but it's very proper. It's, it's very clean. Uh, no mistakes. You know, it seems like he spent a good amount of time making a good intro mission, but uh, making sure that it's properly done and not sloppy. So that's nice. Okay, we're going to head in here right away. We're in a storage room, and there is a guard that comes into that room. All right, so in here we have a couple of readables. Night shifts for 8.19.35 to 8.25.35. So it seems like over the course of a week or so, six days. Brother Targa, Brother Otto, Brother Nielsen, Forger Slugs, Brother Ishak, Novice Schwa, and Forger Eins. So these are all mission authors from the early days. Um, Nielsen 74, um, is another author that I have played a few missions from. And obviously, a Shakhtar is, is super well known for his uh, Broken Triad. Uh, Broken Triad campaign. Um, I might have played one mission from Otto also. And Schwa is pretty, pretty well known. Do not enter the sewer. We still don't know what this what has happened to Brother Rickbert, Father Father Vigil. And there's a diary too in this office. Night shift ledger, Eastport Warehouse and Reservoir. Arrive always on time to thine shift. Do not sleep on thine duty. Be merciless to any intruders. Keep the front doors closed at all time. Check the generator gauges frequently. Report everything unusual to this ledger. Do not enter the sewers. Well, we are going to do that. So loaf of bread. And there is a chest that we have to pick. There's a hammer worth 75 in there. <clears throat> Let's head down here. Two flares in that toolbox up there, and in the top storage room, I didn't show you, but there is a footlocker with a flash bomb. We don't need that. Okay, let's wait for him to pass the window here. Stand forth and speak that. I thought I was further. He was further along. Very nice texture. Some of the textures are updated. And high resolution. Nothing really to worry about here. This is just sort of an entry building. Now we're in the sewers. Here's a moss arrow. So we're heading east now means that we're in this section. So we're going to end the mission in the Gilbert and Sons warehouse. So we're going to head south to Jillian's mansion. There's nothing that is closed off in that direction currently. There we go. A ladder that you can't reach, and I don't think you can go down there either, so it's just for aesthetic reasons. So it's a closed off section. Here we can go up. All right. Generator rooms in the basement. We're going to head up this way where there is a guard that patrols down these stairs eventually. Head out here first. Before we tackle this basement, I'm going to get a piece of loot that is actually quite difficult to get. And I want to take that piece of loot without picking any unnecessary locks. 
which is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to wait for this guard to head back, and we're going to follow him. So we're now coming out of this door from the basement. Uh, there's a guard that patrols like this, back and forth. And then there's another guard stationed by the front door, and he has a purse that I want. Now, the easiest way to get that purse is to pick the lock on this door, head around the corner, sneak over and grab it, and go back, because he's stationed a little bit on the right side of the stairs, or the north side. No, that'll be the east side. Um, the front doors are also pickable, but those you can't pick open, because then he hears it. So, for you to get that without picking these two locks, you have to come either through the tower, which I will leave through to show you that, or through this door, because those are both uh, unlocked. But we have to follow this guard now and slowly sneak around a pillar here and over and get it and go back before he returns and sees us. It's the only way I'm bound to do this. And avoiding picking locks necessarily is always in my best interest, just as in the spirit of Supreme. This one, though, is worth 15, total 90. Okay, over here is a pickable coal chute, which we don't need to pick open. And there's also a moss arrow here. There's the tower that I talked about. So I'm going to do this right here. You guys will see the guard soon. I have to go this to be as fast as possible. Come out, you! Don't want to make that noise when we mantle up there. <laughs> it. Now we have to be careful when we go down here. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, the other purse was worth 20. This one is worth 15. And the front door there, you can see, right behind him, that's the pickable one. I will show you the other door in the far eastern part of the courtyard when I see that door from the inside. There's nothing else to pick up out here. It's a beautiful mission, as you can see. Really great choice of colors. Um, wonderful choice of music and ambiance as well. Both in this mission and Mystic Gems 2. way. So this is a tower that actually doesn't have anything on the top floor, which is a little bit disappointing, like a, a coin or coin stack or something would be would be okay. I mean not like it's a requirement, but I like when you have to sort of if you want all the loot you should have to visit most parts of the mission. Anyway. Now we're back in the basement. Okay, in this footlocker here, you have a flare, and there's a rope arrow in this rope crate. I like those little coils of rope. Nice little lamp there. in here. Wine cellar. I don't think the guard comes in here. One bottle of wine, total 140. And then there is a wine list. Eldbert, uh, four barrels. Blackbrook Brew, one barrel. Jacksbury Mulsum, two barrels. Bon Bater, Bateri, one barrel. Uh, Potalinum, one bottle. Phalerns, 21, two bottles. Vinum Dulce, or Dulce, Dulce, Five bottles, finest Athol, two bottles. There's another valuable bottle right here. See, that looks a little bit different than the others. Total 175. And then in 
here there is one bag of spice and then there is another bag of spice I think in this Yeah, different bag, so it's more valuable, I guess. So, total 240. It's also a lot of loot, or a lot of food, not loot. A different, some custom items too. Some sausages and garlic cloves and cabbage, I think. Anyway. There we go. This mission can be perfect thieved. It cannot be supreme ghosted. But we only have to take one bust. Someday I'm not going to be a guard anymore. I'm going to be a man of the word. The style here reminds me a little bit of Seven Sisters. The choice and textures and um, Lady Rowena's missions. This then leads to the coal chute. Just showed you from the outside, which you have to pick open. But we are gonna head upstairs. There's a guard here that I don't know what. No, no, saw! Yeah, he will catch us there. Let's go on the <laughs> other side. First, beautiful sounds. The mission is very picturesque. Here's the sleeping servant. <laughs> so we're now coming up from the basement. There's um, a door to the north that we could have taken. We're going to go there soon. First, we're going to raid this room here. Three statues. Total 290. <laughs> this card does not come in here. I read a letter. Things to do. Plant fresh flowers and remove dead ones. Polish rest of miniature statues and place them on window frames as usual. Make the bathroom shine. Remove raining coal from the old coal chute. Cath. Probably catch the rat living in an attic. Okay. This is a pickable footlocker with, um, uh, sorry, some coins. I thought it had a flash bomb, but it doesn't. Total 295. Okay. Good. I'm not sure if she saw me there, but <clears throat> we're going to wait for her to leave. Is an empty foot locker, I think. No, it's not. Golden plate. Bag of spice. There's a gold plate in here. Two goblets up here. And then there's a recipe book. Tasty cream flavored pie recipe by Willie, the author. Recommended filling, red currants, apples, mix of different berries. By the way, um, I went to Europe this summer and uh, at my parents' ha house, they have a bush of red currants. Now I wasn't aware of that when I moved to America, but red currants is not that common everywhere in the world. I thought it was because I grew up with it, but if you haven't tried to eat red currants fresh, uh, that is wonderful. If you like sweet and sour together, um, so that is highly recommended. Anyway, apples, mix of different berries, dough, 150 grams butter, 3 cups white flour, 2 teaspoons baking powder, 1 cup of sugar, 1 egg. Mix flour and baking powder together in a cup. Mix soft butter and sugar to get a dough. Add 1 egg to dough. Finally, add the flour mix to dough and mix until the dough is holding together well. Flatten the dough to your pie mold. Add your filling to pie. Leave space for flavor. 
cream flavor. One cup sugar, one teaspoon vanilla sugar, one egg, one can of cream fill. Mix cream fill and both sugars together. Add one egg and mixture until the flavor is thick liquid. Fill the pie evenly with flavor. Baking, bake in 250 degrees Celsius degrees for half an hour. Add some vanilla sugar on top of the pie for more taste. Serve with or without vanilla sauce. There's a lot of vanilla here. Let's see. Also, two water arrows in this water trough. <laughs> Four sixty five, that's good. All right, we can follow him now because he's going to go through the room that we're going to go through. Total 485 and a readable. Boys, Lord Jillian has received numerous death threats from unknown cutthroats and burglars. Due to this, all guard patrols have been doubled until the threats stop or the City Watch catches these taffers. If you see any suspicious people near the mansion, report immediately to me. Also, I want Lord Jillian to be guarded around the clock. Just remember to respect his privacy. Sergeant Adney. Alright. This is another pickable footlocker with a dagger. The guard is going to come back through here. This is the pickable door out to the eastern side of the courtyard. We can save it here for now. Bottle and goblet. Two jars and a plate. Nothing in that. Beautiful living room, this. Up here is actually open. So a railing, a balcony there. So there are people that can hear you upstairs. I don't think anybody actually comes out on that balcony to see you. Hey, dining room. Gold candlesticks, another plate, total 820. And here, some kind of an entry, you have a statue. This is a bathroom that I don't think has anything. takes you around to the living room again. There you see what I mean. You can rope up there if you want to. This is the front door that is pickable. We can head up to the second floor now, so let me make another real save. Mistaken, there is loot in the bathroom. No, there's not. That's upstairs. My bad. So, statue total 850. This is where you can overlook the living room. There 
is a guard, but I don't think he comes down here. I think he only makes a loop upstairs. Okay, here's a water arrow. Here's a gold candlestick total. 900. somebody coming in here. So here's a vase. Nothing in that. Spectacles, total 1040. That one you can't take. Can we hide in here? I'm not sure. I think we can. There's another statue here as well. 1055. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think anybody comes in here then. Alright, so a beautiful upstairs living room. Color scheme, choice of layout design is just fantastic. Gold vase, total 10, 1155. And this is a mask, total 1200. Let's see, I might be missing something right now. Take that. Okay, that's weird. taken what I need to take, so... Here is a vase. Total 
twelve fifteen. Go around this way. No, we're gonna have to take the key from that guard. He should come by here. Let's wait for him to come by. He has a bedroom key. There are three keys up here that we need to get. that there's a ceiling hatch right here. I never was to. You know, I just believed in like a tap. They're probably laughing at me now, behind my back. Mm, not true at all. So, there's a jar. There's a mask. Bottle of wine, 1345. Also a vase here, 1445. And then a readable. 71935. I have never seen Lord Carlisle playing so bad like tonight. I felt like he was losing on purpose, but that can't be. He would have surely lost his face and honor. In addition to winning some, he gave me a beautiful, unusually large gemstone. I asked why he was letting such a precious-looking artifact go, but he never answered. He just kept insisting that I earned it. As an old friend, I couldn't say no to his gift. 8135. A disaster! High Mountain Pass gem mine collapsed, and only days after I, I bought most of their shares. This is yet another sudden accident in this month. All was well just a few weeks ago, and now everything seems to be falling apart for no reason. 8.14.35. That cursed stone. I should have known it. Ever since I got this mystic soul thing, things have been going downhill. I can't even leave my mansion anymore. Even now, I can see one shady-looking person near the mansion walls, waiting for an opportunity to cut my throat. I wish I could get rid of that cursed rock, but I can't just throw it away no matter how much I want to. 81935. I've lost almost everything now. My businesses are dying as I write, and even valuables in my possession are disappearing. A stinky rat stole my grandfather's precious dem ring while I was taking a bath. I've seen that little beast before, vanishing into attic as I try to catch it. I can only hope that someone will end this curse soon. <laughs> Alright. Now here, we have a safe key that we're also going to need. Can't the guy nap around? All right, let's wait for him then. Base, 1495. Open this. There are two entries to the attic. This is one, obviously. <sighs> the only thing of interest up here is the gem ring. But it's a secret. Total 1620. I think we can actually drop here without taking damage. Now we 
going to head in here and this is the private study. Oh, sorry, not the private study, bedroom. Nobody comes in here. In here we have some glasses, total 1660. And we have a chest key that we're going to need. And here we have the safe, where we can also use then the safe key. Here's a lot of loot. Stacks of gold coins, silver coins, purse, tiara, two big rubies, four diamonds. Total 2,045. And that checked off our loot objective. Okay, now we can head up here. <sighs> I'm seeing us, and up here we have then the chest with the mystic soul. That checks off our main objective, of course. chest key. There we go. Now up here, a cleverly hidden gold candlestick. Total 2,095. That is max. Now we're actually done in this mansion. We have to return the keys now. Now, when I played this mission the first time, I was sure that returning the safe key would be an alert. But it's not. This guy is not set to alert to that, so I think that's good enough. This was not locked. chest key here then we can drop the bedroom key along his route and now we can leave It's a mission I would say is very good stealth practice, very good ghosting practice. Small, uh, not too difficult, but with some interesting patrol routes and tiled floor, intermittent tiled floor. is like a, almost like a Bafford style mission where it, it's challenging in areas but you got plenty of room to move around not as spacious as Bafford's I would say so now we have to head down to the sewers again and then get to the warehouse Torin, that you he's heading that way good Isn't this the ambiance from the Mage Towers, I think? 
on the air tower, if I oh. remember. Oh, okay. I forgot that that guy comes down. I'm not sure how far down he comes, but... We haven't taken any Supreme Rusts yet, at least not that I've picked up on. Jordan, is that you? Oh, bad timing for these two guards here. I think we're safe here. I don't think we get hit by that torch, to be honest with you. You can see the line in the shadow. That line right there. I'm pretty sure we can do this. We're going to head to the control station. This gate is closed and leads to the warehouse. There's not really much of interest in this building here. There's a sleeping guard. And there is a control room that is not pickable and it's locked, and he has the key. Control room key. And in here, there's really only one that is operable. And that will open a gate. The gate down below. gate right here. Now this gate can be closed, so we're going to need to close it. But that's kind of quite difficult because we have to block it with something in order to close it. So I'm going to focus on doing that right now. Here is a spider coming up. That sees the other way, so we don't have to worry about that. Blocked off section, and here is where we need to go. Another moss arrow on the f ground here. <laughs> Leave that open for now. So this is the basement of Gilbert and Sons Warehouse. 
we're going to need two crates here. Right now. In order to do this. there. So I know this mission can't be Supreme Ghosted, but I want to get as few busts as possible. So I'm going to show you the method now too, which is, you know, useful for you if you try to Supreme, Supreme Ghost missions on your own. These techniques are... And the second one. Okay, so what we're now going to do is if we place these like that, they should block the gate. There. Now, of course, we also have to return the control room key, and that is the ultimate supreme bust. I've not found a way to do that without waking this guy up. Um, I don't even think you can place it on top of the crate here. You can. Who goes there? But that was too close. So, are we going to return this? I guess maybe we can put it there. That's the closest place, but that's a bust. That's too far away for Supreme. Um, the only rule that comments on where to replace something uh, is if you cannot physically put it back because the game engine doesn't allow you to back into a hole in the wall or something, you're supposed to put it in the nearest logical place. Um, so that would be in the closest physical spot to the hole. Now, here we can drop it back on the chair. We can drop it back on the floor right around the chair, which would always also be acceptable, but that way... Can... So I'll return it here, will I? I don't know. Is it is it worse to keep it, or is it worse to return it to a different location? You know what? I'm going to return it, or I'm going to bring it with me. I guess my conscience... Did I lock the door here? Yes, I did. My conscience says that it's easier for a guard to blame himself if he just doesn't have the key anymore than it is if he finds it on top of a crate and maybe he knows he hasn't been in contact with that crate all night. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Silly. It's a bust either way. So I'm going to hold on to the key. Besides, if I have to hold on to it, I might make use of that key later on. You know, Garrett would. So here you see. It's blocked. And now if we take the crate. It will close fully. And now we have to return the crates. Yeah. 
there is a lantern guard here. He is actually quite difficult to dodge. So we just have to not dodge him by waiting him out. Guard has a purse too that we're gonna need to take. Mm. Oh no. Now I saved. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's not possible. I'm always afraid of saving on ladders, but. I guess in New Dark that's possible. Perfect. Um, this window is pickable. We don't need to pick it. Show you where it leads. Um, we have to get out here, but it's an alternate way, but we don't need to pick the lock unnecessarily. So when I ghosted this back in 2008, I think, when I played it the first time, I didn't find a way to close this gate here. So I guess I'm a, a better ghoster today than I was then. I would like to think I've improved a little bit since that time. I started ghosting uh, in around 2003. And then it didn't take long after just regular ghosting that I found the Supreme Ghost rules. And then it was, there was no way back for me. There. Okay. Here's nothing. Alright, we need to take his purse. stone. That's quite impressive. I've never had to deal with him down here before. He's always been upstairs in the warehouse when I have arrived here. Done for them! Lantern guards or something else. There we go. Total twenty one twenty. Uh. 
engine room that's empty. And then we have a restroom work area. Keep the basement window locked. <clears throat> Report all accidents at once. Remember to guard the office well during nights. There has been a lot of burglaries recently in Eastport. I will personally reward anyone who catches a thief. Gilbert Jr. Okay, nothing in the... Is that you? Now we can get up to an office upstairs that you cannot get into <laughs> without getting alerted otherwise. Here's a jar, plate, because you see the guard out there. He is stationary and there's no way you can fool him. Shipments leaving tonight. 45. Four fancy chairs and one table to Lord Baffert's Manor. 46. Six crates of food supplies to Fancy Inn Bon. 47. One turbine to Sir William's Keep, Great Forest. Sir William's Keep is another mission by Willie. So we're going to have to go in 46 then. It's also a secret in here. The chest. The purse. Total 2405. Was the second secret? I think there's only two. There, let's see. We're gonna have to jump and catch that crate. Oh! Now we're going to head upstairs and get that purse from the guard. Sorry, I didn't say you had a purse, but the guard outside the office has a purse that we need. There's a couple more pieces of loot in the warehouse itself.
way. Jar and a plate. Total twenty-four eighty-five. And if we go back here, the footlocker with the statue that's a little bit hidden. Total 2,500, that's max loot. <laughs> this is a pickable footlocker with a speed potion that we obviously do not need. This leads up to a top walkway. That will then take you to the other side of that guard outside the main office. Ship from Gilbert and Sons Shipping Company, Taft Street, 84, Eastport City District. Ship to the Fancy Hall Inn, Museum Avenue, Bonn, Inner City. That is great. Awesome. So that was a successful perfect thief of Mystic Gems 1, Unlucky Soul. Um, we busted Supreme 1 uh, place, and that was we could not return the control room key to the control warehouse. Uh, the sleeping guard alerts if we put it anywhere close to him. I chose to hold on to it. You know, it's a bust if you return it elsewhere. So there you have it. Total time, 42 minutes, 0 seconds. Found 2,500 loot out of 2,500. Pockets picked 7 out of 8. Uh, locks picked 4. Backstab 0, knockout 0, damage dealt 0, damage taken 0, healing taken 0, innocence killed none, and others killed 0. Iron Beast destroyed 0, disabled 0. We found 2 out of 2 secrets. There we have it. The next mission uh, is not in this mission pack. It's like Mystic Gems 2, I mean. It's a separate release that came 2 years later. So nothing continues here in terms of uh, items and loot. But the story continues. So I won't do Mystic Gems 2 next. I will do Heartcliff Islands. And that might take a couple of weeks before it's out because that's a huge, huge mission. Very difficult. And I always say to try to play the missions that I am going to record ahead of time. And for that mission, more than any other, I would say that definitely try it out. Might not be for you, but try it, play it, and then come back. If if you abandon it, that's okay. There's many that's done that. But if you're in for long, hard, tough, challenging, epic missions, then that one you should try. So I'll see you back for Heartcliff Islands. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. And yeah, give me some feedback on the microphone as well. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye.